You uh, guys should trip on acid together sometimes. I mean, I never did. Did you ever did it? Yeah, As, once. Once? Is it cool? It was fun. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, I was laughing so much. I, I don't think I painting. will ever do that. It, it, it's not. I, I just, I'm not curious at all. Okay, I tried this thing, the LSD. L LSD? Yeah. Mm. People say that ayahuasca is is um, school. To LSD do. is like you see the visions in front of you and the colors, everything is so colorful and nice. A, a few people kind of really change their lives. After, you know what ayahuasca is? The realization and all that stuff. Yeah, they... They some some people that they, you know they had good jobs and shit they do that thing and all of a sudden they sell everything the house everything and they buy a van and that's it. I, that's too much. Yeah. So, but, but but I'll tell you you see some sort of senses mm -hmm. which you feel in real life. So I used to be like deep into illustrating and I uh, if you see my illustrations they're like a lot of these very wavy yeah distortions. Tube tube like structures mm -hmm. like worms and all that stuff mm -hmm. and that's also i'm scared of mm. you know but i draw them for some reason and when i took it i was seeing these kind of things in front of my eyes really yeah and i started getting scared mm. and they started uh, <laughs> coming on top of my body mm -hmm. like uh, branches 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 and i was like oh fuck i think it's getting to to the bad trip so I, I I distracted myself and I started checking this uh, poster of poster? a Bollywood movie. It okay. was like mustard field with the actor and actresses. And all of a the sudden there was a big mustard field in front of me. That's crazy. Was, that's crazy. I think that is something I really enjoyed. Mm. But I never took again. I was yeah. like, okay, no, <laughs> it's not. For, for me, I don't... Uh... I, I mean, like, when I hear that and I see a few scenes, you know, from movies and I see that happening, of course, it's like, okay, I'm kind of curious to maybe experience that, but not enough to do it. I, Even I, though I'm okay. a super curious person. I think LSD is the kind of thing which do, it doesn't make you an addict. Uh -huh. It's an experience. No, but then it, what uh, if I get addicted to the experience? No, I'm a very addictive personality and I never got addicted to that. Mm. You know, but also there is this, there are like a lot of these things that you should take with people whom you really trust. Mm. Because if you get into a bad trip, it's going to get worse. Yeah, that's the thing, Ben. Like, I, I oh, feel like yeah. I, I, I cheers, I cheers so but, much my life. I I don't think I even need like those things. Yeah, that, that's you the know? thing. If you don't need I, it. I don't need, I never had like any glimpse of like, trying any drugs or anything it's just like i could have i had opportunities i just never wanted it's never healthy though like uh, it's a i only saw it like fucks as up as your a, brain in a yeah, way yeah. in a very stronger way and then you when the do you think you got some consequences out of that not really you sure how do you know how do you even know how do you even know if you got consequences? Because now, now you're saying, oh, I, don't, I didn't get it. But how do you know? It was just one time. It doesn't happen. No, no, no. Not, I'm not saying time. like from that one LSD thing. Like from everything. I don't think so. But I mean, how, okay, how, Of course, there will be some changes. But it was not a major one, which I realize and people realize. Mm. You know, but, it, but definitely there was this you if you're doing something of course you're gonna get the results and you, it's gonna mm -hmm. affect your also it was life. many many years back right yeah it was many years what, back 10 years now more than, i think more than 10 years yeah so when i was out of the trip mm -hmm. i was sweating like hell oh yeah like i think you spend a lot of energy my jaw was painting because i was laughing and smiling whole night mm -hmm. and it was the whole night trip and the next day, holy we're like shit. the Joker trip. Like you, no, you, you, you were sleeping like no, because everything was so happy, you know. Mm. And I remember at one point I was just, just doing this because I was che checking my protons and neutrons, and it was it, I was feeling it, and I was like doing this for like uh, one hour or something. I don't remember. The That's time. crazy. Was, like this, this. Yeah, that was insane. I I think I will never. Uh, you know, it's just like I don't think I will ever do. You shouldn't. 
Yeah. No uh, one I should. I don't think. I don't think so. No one should. Um, I mean, it's, ex- but, but it's yeah, an a experience. A few people, they are it's... very... Um, that, you know, you can pay thousands of dollars and you can do it like in a safe way. Some people say that though, they want to to get into that deeper self and all that. Uh-huh. That's bullshit. For that, you can do meditation. I feel like it's more like you get out of yourself. It feels like from everything that it people do really... It doesn't anything. No, no, but from what people really... When you see people that express, even you, like nothing of your experience was really something that you connected with yourself. It's just some, you're more experienced like the out world. No, I was, okay. I Also, my intention was not to go t- uh, connect <laughs> with myself, you yeah. know? If you go with the intention, you have this mindset and your brain works in that sense, yeah. you know? Mine was like, like okay, I just want to try because it was one of my friends. Yeah, I I think ayahuasca is, is, is probably different. Childish, so this isn't for me. If someone asked me to do now, I would maybe say no. I like. No, no, I I don't want to do it. It makes it gives me anxiety. If yeah, I think no. about it. Yeah, for me, I will uh, I'll always be a very uh, because I see and um. So for example, chat today I did a I did a run. I ran for like six kilometers. And I'm not trying to flex, but, uh, you know, during this distance, which was like 35 minutes, I passed through many people, right? And uh, I just got the habit now. I've been doing this for like two weeks now. And I think I only told you now, today, yeah, you told that me. Uh, I started, you know, I'm running and every person I pass, I say good morning or good afternoon. Usually it's good morning because I run in the morning. And... Uh, and some people, you know, they smile and they say, oh, good morning. You know, like, uh, yeah, or, sometimes or, they, or, uh, they say, good morning. Or, uh, but in general, it's such a good feeling because, so I also helped a guy that he had this uh, backpack pocket. Mm-hmm. It was open. And I say, hey, uh, good morning. You have your, your, your pocket your open. Pocket, yeah. And he said, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know? And uh, I don't know. I was running. I just get distracted. It's a good feeling. But, it, but it feels nice. It is such a nice feeling to make someone smile or laugh. Yeah. Right? With a, such a simple thing like a good morning. Yeah. Like other day, we uh, before Christmas, we went to Continent, the supermarket. And uh, there was this lady which was doing the billings. Mm-hmm. She was a woman, like our age or younger maybe. And she had these nails with Santa. Santa Claus. Yeah, art on the nail. Yeah. And it was looking so beautiful. And then we complimented and she started blushing. Oh, she blushed <laughs> so hard. She, she as white like, as me. She was and like became all pink. All pink. Oh, like, oh, that's and so red cute. was so fun. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes just saying something so nice cute. to someone really can can change their, uh, you know, their day. Yeah. And I feel like if you start in the morning in... Uh, uh, I passed like through a group of like three old men, and they all said, "I said good morning." Even like fishermen, fishermen, I passed through it. I passed through a, a homeless guy, a, probably a drug addict. You know, that's how I just connected everything. Um, and I was thinking, man, like probably not a lot of people tell, <coughs> you know, to good this morning. guy, yeah. "Good morning," you know. <laughs> and he smiled. Yeah, like so the the teeth were fucked up. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, good morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, like this, and uh, it was kind of cute. But th- that that reality, I-, I feel like so sad when uh when I see people that got like into alcohol and drugs yeah. and these things. It it is just like terribly sad because it it, it, it literally destroys your lives. It destroys. It makes you depressed. Yeah, and and sometimes people really have good lives, you know, yeah. or or they had stable lives. But they just got into these things and from out of depression or out of whatever is the reason, you know? Some some people is like debt, some people is like uh, heartbreaking, uh, you know, like whatever is the reason. They get into these things and then all of a sudden they completely ruin their lives. And it, it, it's just like so sad. Yeah. And, um, it, some people mm-hmm. like... Uh, some people they come out of it like I have seen a few people. <clears throat> they were like completely fucked into these things. 
you know mm-hmm. and then they came out of it and they feel so good about it yeah i feel so inspired mm-hmm. in a way because it is really really tough to come out of that situation yeah. really tough especially if you're doing it like for for several years yeah which is the case for the you know a lot of like these men because what happens is like when you are around the, these kind of uh, substances drugs or whatever mm-hmm. something happens inside your body mm-hmm. you know yeah and it's really tough either you leave those space the place or you take it <laughs> it sometimes it becomes that kind of situation yeah w- one day i was uh, i was reading that uh, some specific drugs they leave like permanent brain damage yeah and and that's why i was telling you and asking you like do you really know you know maybe what you said is right also like maybe it did change but yeah. nothing that a lot of people maybe um maybe it didn't change your personality okay yeah. but maybe in other things it might affect you and you don't even realize that mm-hmm. you know yeah. i i'm just like happen. putting an hypothesis like you know this better than anyone um yeah. but what what it matters now is like you you know you you got out of those things like many years back mm-hmm. and hopefully you know you will keep now you're reading limitless which is yeah. going to be such a powerful book for you to read because it's about the brain I, i'm really liking it till now you like it yeah it's really the, the good. story of the broken br- brain. Uh, the brain yeah, boy yeah and it is a good story yeah it is there will be first first is like the story in, in context and then it's going to be pretty much as like every day you're going to start learning stuff mm-hmm. you know uh so the 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 book is uh is separate like in those two halves also there is like small exercise in the middle of it that you should do uh, it's like you apply what you learn oh, so okay. i i also want to do with you in the future yeah. no we can i i'm reading and we can do together hmm? you can do it together yeah